Discus and the shot put, and if I'm not mistaken, both of them lifetime best efforts. Yeah. What a way to go out here. We'll start in the discus. 171 feet, 18 inches today. We talked yesterday about focusing and not worrying about the injury. Yeah. I know that's something that you were really, really keen on doing here yeah. today. How were you able to do that starting in the discus? Uh, discus, I actually threw my 171 on my first throw. Um, thankfully, knocked it out of the park on that one. Um, after that, it, the hamstring made itself known. Um, so I was fighting with it basically the entire uh, discus competition. I only took three of the six holes um, because I didn't see the point in taking all six and then not being able to throw the shot today. Uh, so it was a conscious decision to just back out and say, all right, like, we threw the 171, we're going to call it good. Um, I went off of my competition, so if I had to do another one, I would have. Um, but for the first one felt great. Um, I did what I was supposed to do, and I threw it hard. And I didn't know how far it was. I just heard everybody on the sidelines cheering. So I was like, okay, it was good enough. <laughs> now, we talked yesterday about how you know, you had to kind of focus on the technique things. And, and, and at the injury actually helped you. Yeah. There were certain things you had to do. Obviously, you knew you had another event here, so from a technique standpoint, did that first throw accomplish the goal that you wanted to or to take a little bit of the pressure off? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the first one I did what I was supposed to do. Uh, the next one, I kind of reverted back to my old self. Uh, adrenaline got the best of me, and then I felt it twinge and took the third one off. Uh, threw the fourth one. Hurt again. <laughs> and so the last one I was like, I'm done. Um, so I, the adrenaline that I was feeling, I was feeling good. So I was like, all right, we're just going to go and do this thing. And I wasn't thinking about what I was supposed to do. And kind of went back to what I wasn't supposed to be doing. So I was really thankful for that first row. Actually, came up a little bit shorter. You yeah. talked about the motivation really well and, and, yeah. and to, to fulfill that particular yeah. uh, quest to be the champion. That was complete. How did you feel? I had the access 200 meters to go. It was great. Um, I accomplished my goal. And the feeling of accomplishing your goal is probably one of the best feelings out there. Um, it didn't matter how much pain I was in. It didn't matter everything that was running through my head. I came out here and I did what I wanted to do, what I was supposed to do. Um, so knowing that, it was kind of like a redemption day uh, compared to last year. Because roles were completely reversed. Last year I threw 170 in the prelims and 160 in the final. And then she threw 160 in the prelim and 170 in the final. And we'll so, see her new yeah. PR. So, we'll come back out here to the shot pit. Obviously, this is right the champion last year. Corey yeah. Smith second. You said that you had a little bit of a Warm-ups went really, really well today. Uh, I was warming up 47, 48, 49. Uh, first throw of the competition, I went out 46, 8. And then from there, I just kept building on it. Uh, I went second throw was farther. Third throw, I threw 49. Fifth throw, I threw another 49. Uh, or third, I threw a 47, 48. Fifth, I threw a 49. Sixth, I threw another 49. And then uh, 
from there. Like it was just probably one of the best competitions I've had the entire season. What about that one work for you in terms of technique meeting what your physical capabilities could be? Um, I just blocked out my hamstring. I said, you know what, I'm done with you. We're just going to go out and I'm going to throw this shot hard. Because I wanted that victim. And I was climbing the ladder towards it. I just came up a little bit short. Um, but I, it was a moment that I knew, like, all right, so it hurts. But I'm, it's not devastating. Um, I just put some more pain stuff on it, called it good, and went back. <laughs> now that the high school part of your career is over here at Fowler, you kind of have a chance to look at two shot list state championships, a list state championship. You join a very select list of people that you have accomplished. Yeah. Person yeah. Um, just how meaningful is that for you to be able to go out it's the best way to end my high school career. Um, I started as a little freshman that didn't belong. Well, I didn't think I belonged. Um, but I saw I placed sixth my freshman year. I podium, and from there I just kept climbing. And as the years went by, I got hungrier and hungrier for that state championship because it was right there. It was in my grasp. Um, so for me to actually come out here tonight and win the double title. Uh, a feeling that I'll never forget.